Saba, Dutch pronunciation, Sa -ba, is a Caribbean island which is the smallest special municipality officially public body of the Netherlands. It consists largely of the potentially active volcano Mount Scenery, at 887 metres 2,910 feet, the highest point of the entire Netherlands. Saba has a land area of 13 square kilometres 5.0 square miles. As of January 2013, the population was 1,991 inhabitants, with a population density of 150 inhabitants per square kilometre 390 per square miles. Its towns and major settlements are the Bottom the capital, Windwardside, Hell's Gate and St. John's. History Christopher Columbus is said to have sighted the island on 13 November 1493. He did not land, being deterred by the island's perilous rocky shores. In 1632 a group of shipwrecked Englishmen landed upon Saba. They stated they found the island uninhabited when they were rescued, however, clear evidence has been found indicating that Caribs and Arawak native nations have lived on the island. In 1635 a stray Frenchman claimed Saba for Louis XIII of France. In the later 1630s, the Dutch governor of the neighbouring island of St Eustatius sent several Dutch families over to colonise the island for the Dutch West India Company. In 1664, refusing to swear allegiance to the English crown, these original Dutch settlers were evicted to St Martin by Thomas Morgan and other English pirates that had been convicted to stay on Jamaica, to return within the months and years following. The Netherlands have been in continuous possession of Saba since 1816, after numerous flag changes British -Dutch -French during the previous centuries. By 2016 the island had been French for 12 years, English for 18 years, and Dutch for 345 years. In the 17th and 18th centuries Saba's major industries were sugar, indigo and rum produced on plantations owned by Dutchmen living on St Eustatius, and later fishing, particularly lobster fishing. In the 17th century Saba was believed to be a favourable hideout for Jamaican pirates. England also deported its «undesirable» people to live in the Caribbean colonies, and some of them also became pirates, a few taking haven on Saba. The island of Saba is forbidding and steep, a natural fortress, and so the island became a private sanctuary for the families of smugglers and pirates. The most notable native Saban pirate was Hiram Beeks. Later, legitimate sailing and trade became important, and many of the island's men took to the sea, during which time, Saba lace, which is pulled thread work, a Spanish form of needlework introduced by a nun from Venezuela, became an important product made by the island's women. Throughout the late 19th century and early 20th century, the primary source of revenue for the island came from the lacework produced by the women. During this period of time, with most of the island's men gone out to sea, the island became known as the Island of Women. The remains of the settlements of 1630 to 1640 can be found on the west side at Tent Bay. These settlements were destroyed by a landslide in the 17th century. A status referendum was held in Saba on the 5th of November 2004. 86.05% of the population voted for closer links to the Netherlands. Topic. Geography and ecology Saba is the northernmost potentially active volcano in the Lesser Antilles volcanic arc chain of islands. At 887 metres 2,910 feet, Mount Scenery is also the highest point within the Kingdom of the Netherlands. The island is composed of a single rhomb-shaped volcano measuring 4.6 kilometers, 2.9 miles east to west and 4.0 kilometers, 2.5 miles north to south. The oldest dated rocks on Saba are around 400,000 years old, and the most recent eruption was shortly before the 1630s European settlement, 280 years BP, between 1995 and 1997. An increase in local seismic activity was associated with a 7 to 12 degrees Celsius, 45 to 54 degrees Fahrenheit rise in the temperature of the hot springs on the island's northwest and southeast coasts. There is a 8.6 hectares, 21 acres cloud forest located at and above 825 meters, 2707 feet on top of the mountain referred to as the Elfin Forest Reserve because of its high altitude mist and mossy appearance. 
The most dominant tree in the cloud forest is the mountain mahogany undulate, although hurricanes over the years have destroyed a large number of the mature trees. Despite the name, the mountain mahogany is not related to other mahogany species, although one species of true mahogany tree is found on the island at lower levels, the small-leaved mahogany The native mahogany trees are considered to be at risk of becoming extinct on Sabah. In the underbrush of the mahogany trees, the Sierran palm Montana and tree ferns dominate, with a large variety of epiphytes and orchids growing on the trunks and branches of all the trees. Wild raspberries and plantain trees can also be found growing on most of the mountain. All seven of the Lesser Antilles endemic bird area restricted range birds occur in the Elfin Forest Reserve. Below the cloud forest is a sub montane forest, and the variety and average number of species are considerably less. Redwood and mountain fuchsia tree trees grow wild in this zone, as well as cactus species such as the prickly pear, and seagrape trees. On the lowest southern and eastern slopes of Sabah are grassy meadows and scattered shrubs. Sabah National Land Park is a 35 hectares 86 acres national park located on the north coast of Sabah. Formerly owned by the Sulphur Mining Company, the park was established in January 1998 and the property was officially turned over to the Sabah Conservation Foundation in 1999. It stretches from the coastline all the way up to the cloud forest, and encompasses all vegetation zones present on Sabah. The coastline of Sabah is mostly rubble and rocky cliffs that are 100 metres feet or taller with no permanent beaches. The steep terrain and sheer bluffs dropping almost straight down to the ocean's edge prevents the formation of mangrove swamps or much vegetation. There are eight bays tucked into the cliffs around the island, Cove Bay, Spring Bay, Core Gut Bay, Fort Bay location of the island's only port, Tent Bay, Ladder Bay, Wells Bay and Cave of Rum Bay. The shoreline of the island is of particular value to sea birds, and has been designated an important bird area by BirdLife International. Sabah is home to about 60 species of birds, many of which are sea birds that use the holes and crevices of the steep cliffs and two small islands for breeding and feed in the waters around the island. Sabah's shoreline is home to the Caribbean's largest breeding colony of red-billed tropicbird .The Audubon's shearwater is another common bird, and is the national bird of Sabah as well as being featured on their coat of arms. Being an island, Sabah is home to a number of endemic species including the Sabah racer rufiventris, the Sabin anole Anolus sabinus, and the lesser Antillean funnel-eared bat Natalis straminius straminius. .About 4.3 km miles southwest of the island is the northeastern edge of the Sabah Bank, the largest submarine atoll in the Atlantic Ocean with an especially rich biodiversity. Sabah Bank is the top of a sea mount and it is a prime fishing ground, particularly for lobster. Governance Sabah became a special municipality within the country of the Netherlands after the dissolution of the Netherlands Antilles on 10 October 2010. The head of the island is the island governor, current held by Jonathan G. A. Johnson. Society The population of Sabah the Sabans consists of 1,991 people who come from all over the world. Sabah's small size has led to a fairly small number of island families, who can trace their last names back to around a half dozen families. This means that many last names are shared around the island, the most numerous being Hassel and Johnson. Most families are an intermixing of Africans, Dutch, English, and Scottish. The population is also descended from the Irish who were exiled from that country after the accession of King Charles I of England in 1625. Charles exiled these Irish to the Caribbean in an effort to quell rebellion after he had forcibly procured their lands for his Scottish noble supporters. Historically, Sabah was traded among the many European nations that fought for power in the region. Slaves were also imported to work on Sabah. In recent years Sabah has become home to a large group of expatriates, and around 250 immigrants who are either students or teachers at the Sabah University School of Medicine. Languages Both English and Dutch are spoken on the island and taught in schools, and both languages are official. 
Despite the island's Dutch affiliation, English is the principal language spoken on the island and has been used in its school system since the 19th century. English is the sole medium of instruction in Saba schools. Dutch government policy towards Saba and other SSS islands promoted English medium education. English can therefore be used in communications of and to the government. Saba English, a form of Virgin Islands Creole English, is the local vernacular. Education and health Saba is home to the Saba University School of Medicine, which was established by American expatriates in coordination with the government of the Netherlands. The school adds over 400 residents when classes are in session, and it is the prime educational attraction. A. M. Edwards Medical Center is the major provider of healthcare for local residents. Same-sex marriage In Saba as in Bonaire and Saint Eustatius, marriage is open to same-sex and opposite-sex couples following the entering in force of a law enabling same-sex couples to marry on 10 October 2012. The first same-sex marriage was performed on Saba on 4 December 2012 between a Dutch and a Venezuelan man, both residing in Aruba, where same-sex marriage is not performed. Economy Since 2011 the US dollar has been the official currency, replacing the Netherlands' Antillian guilder. Agriculture on Saba is primarily livestock and vegetables, especially potatoes. Saba lace, also known as, "...Spanish work", is actually drawn thread work, and as of 2013, it is still produced on the island. Tourism The tourism industry now contributes more to the island's economy than any other sector. There are about 25,000 visitors each year. Saba has a number of inns, hotels, rental cottages and restaurants. Saba is known as the "'unspoiled queen' of the Caribbean. Saba is especially known for its ecotourism, having exceptional scuba diving, climbing and hiking. The Wancho e Irausquin Airport offers flights to and from the nearby islands of St. Martin and St. Eustatius. There is also a ferry service from St. Martin, the ferry boats, Don Tu Tilde the Saba Ferry, and The Edge, both travel to Saba three times a week. In addition, there are anchorages for private boats. About 150 species of fish have been found in Saba's waters. A main draw for divers are the pinnacle dive sites, where magma pushed through the sea floor to create underwater towers of volcanic rock that start at about 300 feet meters down and rise to about 85 feet meters beneath the surface. The waters around Saba were designated as the Saba National Marine Park in 1987, and are subject to government regulation to preserve the coral reefs and other marine life. The Saba Conservation Foundation has operated a hyperbaric chamber in case of diving emergencies, since 1991. Transport There is one main road, known as, "...the road." Its construction was masterminded by Josephus Lambert Hassel who, contrary to the opinion of Dutch and Swiss engineers, believed that a road could be built. He took a correspondence course in civil engineering and started building the road with a crew of locals in 1938. After five years of work, the first section of the road from Fort Bay to the bottom was completed. It was not until 1947 that the first motor vehicle arrived. In 1951, the road to Windwardside and St. John's was opened, and in 1958, the road was completed. Driving the road is considered to be a daunting task, and the curves in Windwardside are extremely difficult to negotiate. Driving is on the right-hand side. In 1963 Saba residents built the Wancho e Irausquin Airport. This 400-metre landing strip is reputed to be the shortest commercial runway in the world, and is restricted. Only trained pilots flying small stole airliners, such as the Twin Otter and the Britain Norman Islander may land there, as well as helicopters. Consistent air service from St. Martin and St. Eustatius is available through Winair. In 1972, a pier was completed in Fort Bay to access the island. 
Travel is also provided by ferry services to and from St. Martin with the Don II and the Edge. Of note are 800 steps carved from stone that reach from Ladder Bay to the settlement known as the Bottom. Until the late 20th century, everything that was brought to the island in boats and ships was carried up by hand using these steps. The steps are now often used by tourists who wish to experience an intense climb. Energy Like many Caribbean islands, Saba is highly dependent on fossil fuels imports, which leaves it vulnerable to global oil price fluctuations that directly impact the cost of electricity. Current electricity supply depends entirely on one diesel power plant located close to sea level by the harbor and it is estimated that 50% of the cost of electricity is related to the price of fossil fuels and lubricants according to a report by the Low Emission Development Strategies Global Partnership LED's GP the government of Sabah made the decision to transform the island to 100% sustainable energy to eventually eliminate dependence on fossil fuel generated electricity this new energy policy is defined by the Social Development Plan 2014-2020 and Saba's energy sector strategy. Intermediate targets are 20% renewable electricity by 2017 and 40% by 2020. Culture Saba's houses have a cottage look with red roofs. The lifestyle is slow and old-fashioned with little nightlife, even with the emergence of an ecotourism industry in the last few decades. Sabans are proud of their history of environmental conservation, calling Saba, "...the unspoiled queen". Saban women continue to make two traditional island products, Saba lace and Saba spice. Saba lace is hand-stitched lace, which the island's women began making in the late 19th century and built into a thriving mail-order business with the United States. Saba spice is a rum drink, brewed with a combination of spices. As in other Caribbean locations, Sabans throw an annual carnival. Saba's carnival takes place the last week in July and includes parades, steel bands, competitions, and food. Another event held in the capital the bottom is Saba Day. This is the national day of the island in which all offices, schools and stores are closed. The island celebrates its diversity and culture through various activities and parades. The bottom holds host to a concert at the sports field where local and other Caribbean artists come to perform. There is one radio station on Saba, Saba Radio, broadcasts on 93.9 FM and 14.10 AM. Sports The most popular sports on Saba are football, futsal, softball, basketball, swimming and volleyball. Due to the small population, there are few sport associations. One of them, the Saba Volleyball Association, is a member of ECVA and NORCECA. Education <inaudible> 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 The primary school is Sacred Heart Primary School in St. John's. There is one secondary and vocational school in Saba, the Saba Comprehensive School in St. John's. Saba University School of Medicine is a for profit medical school located in the Saba capital, the bottom. Saba University confers upon its graduates the Doctor of Medicine degree. Saba University School of Medicine was founded in 1992 as an international alternative to U.S. and Canadian medical schools. Since its founding, more than 2,500 students have earned their medical degree at Saba. Saba University's graduates practice primarily in the United States and Canada. The Saba website features graduates who have gone on to appointments at medical centers in the U.S. and Canada including the Cleveland Clinic, Mayo Clinic, Memorial Sloan Kettering, the University of Toronto, Yale University and more. In recent years, 99% of Saba's students have passed the USMLE Step 1 exam on their first attempt. Class sizes are 80 to 100 students per matriculating class. Students complete the first 20 months five semesters of basic science medical education on the campus on Saba and return to the US and Canada to complete clinical rotations at hospitals affiliated with the school. Notable people 
Cornelia Jones See also Caribbean Netherlands Caribbean Sea Leeward Islands Notes <laughs>